little holes that you kind of gotta you gotta shove something into and on the inside there's a little black cylinder that trigger thing that you gotta push out of the way in order for you to actually be able to get the airbag off it's gonna be very hard to show you guys no matter what angle I put you at so more or less I will show you the clips once I have it off of the car. Push, push, and push. All right, once you get all three out, it kind of just pops out like you see. And then you have a ground that you have to push down in the middle, and then you can pull it out. And then you have, to make sure you guys can see. You have these little black trim clips. So what I do is I shove like a little knife. You can use a pick tool if you have a pick. What I like to do, wiggle back and forth. Get it out. And then just move your ticking time bomb off to the side. Alright, All right. so now here, straighten up your wheel. I'm gonna have to get alignment regardless, so it does, you know, doesn't matter. And then use a 21 millimeter. Impact it a little bit, so it comes off while you're here. Undo the white clip that goes to there. Hit your steering wheel aside a few times, pull it forward. Undo your nut the rest of the way, so you do that so you don't smack yourself. And then, yep, you can just pull it. Straight off. All right, so I'm about to do really fun install, something I've been waiting for for a while. Got a work spell short hub. Got a work spell quick release. And then I got a 330 Nardi with the, the suede Alcantara. So let's go ahead and get this started. So this comes with your quick release. You need these for your horn. You need two airbag resistors for American cars. This is a horn retaining clip, eight millimeter little socket, and then I have a 18 for this nut in the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and I'll pick back up in a second. So getting started, go ahead and take off the rubber piece around your aluminum boss. And then to make your life easier, go ahead and uh, clip your horn in. You're gonna tuck that through the hole. Then you're gonna line up top dead center. And then it comes with a locking washer. Go ahead and slip that on. And a nut. And then the nut is at 18, so go ahead and grab your torque wrench. It's about 30 foot pounds, if I'm correct. All right, now that you got that torque down, you need to go ahead and pull out your airbag modules. So you kind of just slide them right in there. And then what a lot of people do is you go ahead and you just give them a slight bend downwards. Then come in some electrical tape. And just give it a nice little wrap around so that they don't back out. and repeat the process with the other side. I want to make an appearance. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in too. Is it in You recording right now? Yes sir. Oh shit. I can't hear nothing though, right? Yeah, I can't. Oh shit. I'm gonna call your ass out now. 
you putting another horn in it or are you taking the horn out? Nah, I'm putting a fancy ass steering wheel in it oh. with a quick release. Yo, what am I looking at? I just realized the whole steering wheel was gone. <laughs> yeah. It's like a race car style steering wheel, so like this goes in and then like I can completely take this steering wheel out of the car. Oh shit. So you ain't gotta worry about nobody trying to Nope. Nothing. Try not to cut a finger, have fun. You know I always try. Alright, now that you got your airbag resistors on there, what I've seen a lot of people do is they put a little bit of tape to hold them in place right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try my best. Got that all taped up and what that does is that helps the wires not rattle while you're driving. So now you just got to get this plastic piece on. Just like that. Everything's taped up. It looks nice. Don't have to worry about anything. Now from this point, we're going to go ahead and get our quick release already. So they give you what they call an earth ring. And so the earth ring, you just go ahead and you attach right here to this. Slip that in there, easy peasy. And then going through the ring, you're gonna attach this other connector to this connector. Kinda gotta tuck it all in there. Look for your little notch to tell you it's top dead center. Match it up with the notch on your actual hub. Make sure all your screw holes are lined up. your hardware I'm using the nice black bolts that came with the work spell hub one on top one on bottom once you get the top and bottom done, you're pretty much set to just let it hang there as you get the other bolts in. Alright, you got that all tightened up. Go ahead and grab your quick release. I believe for the Nardi, I don't need this little ring that they come in so I'm gonna take that out and put it back in if I need but you go ahead get that locked in and I'm gonna go grab the steering wheel all right so you do have to modify one of these horn the the black ones made to go on the earth ring but for the nardi I don't use the earth ring so Again, do like a top and bottom, but with the Nardi, obviously, I know it's a little bit different. All right, get that all tightened up and then grab your kind of like trim ring, I guess you could call it, snap it on there. You get your horn button. This is a two prong Nardi one, and I don't think it actually matters which color you put where. But just get them on there. Nothing there. Just line up your horn button. There you go.
push it in. Straighten out the wheel now that I actually have a wheel. Take off the cover. And there you go. A nice, let me turn the light up. There we go. The light's about to die, so if it dies, sorry. There you go, you have a nice Alcantara suede Nardi. Horn works, press the ring. There you go. Wheel comes off. Work spell short hub with the work spell quick release on a Nardi. Whoops. Sometimes it does that, it's still brand new. But yeah, this feels really nice. You don't really have to change your seating position too much. And yeah, you just whip around. But in that, thank you for watching. If you've been wondering about the finger, I'm gonna make a video explaining that shortly. But in that, have a great day. Thank you.